praise God. You are welcome to Golf TV. Today is Tuesday and we are on lesson 4. The general topic for today's lesson is Biblical Ways of Settling Disputes. The topic for the adult is Be a Wise Fool. The topic for the youth is Leave it for God. The topic for the intermediate class is Pursue Peace peaceful coexistence. Today is Tuesday. Before we go to the Bible study, let's have a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we thank you for bringing us to another day. We pray that your Holy Spirit will give us, give us meaning to your word. In Jesus' name, Amen. The topic for today's lesson is Pursue Peace with All People. Bible reading for today is found in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 12 to 17. And I read, Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men, and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you and thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornication or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Praise God. From today's lesson, we can see that the Lord wished for us as his children to pursue peace with all people. God's purpose for his children is to live in peace. God created a community of people and wish that they lived in peace with one another. As we see in the beginning, when God created Adam, created Eve, and he blessed them to have children. And as the children continue to grow, they constituted community of God's people. God wanted all his children, the community of God's people, even now in the church, to live in peace with one another. However, where more than one person relate with each other, disagreements are sometimes inevitable. We sometimes do not see an issue from the same perspective. Sometimes our perceptions may be faulty and injurious to another person as humans that we are. So, when this happens, the state of our peace is dislocated and disrupted. As children of God, we must take immediate action to restore the peace God deposited in our lives. One condition to see, to see God at the end of our lives is to follow the path of peace with one another. As portrayed in Hebrews chapter 12 as 14a. Failure to make peace with everyone make us fail the grace of God. As found in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 15. And we as children of God must remember that it is the grace of God that brings salvation. In other words, failure to make peace with everyone can 
cause our salvation. Not making peace with all men, spring up bitterness in our hearts. As we, we have read in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15b. And this can lead us into many troubles of the heart, such as hypertension, high blood pressure, and cardiac arrest. To so harbor grudges against other people and defy laws before God. So, as children of God, God wants us to be free of grudges with other people. We must not because of what we can gain, continue to live with our disagreements with another person. As we read in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16, we must resolve our disagreements with others before it is too late. This is what the Bible teaches us in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 17, in reference to Esau. The point of emphasis of today's lesson is that we as children of God to make heaven, to get to heaven, we must be at peace with all people. A prayer point today is we should pray that Lord make me a man or woman of peace anywhere I find myself. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your desire to make us peaceful people and to live with, in peace with others. Pray that you will give us the grace to live as a man or woman of peace anywhere we find ourselves. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for listening. If you have any comment, prayer request, please send them to the address on your screen. Thank you and God bless you. Have a nice day today.